a fighter trains with the best and wins with a KO. Kelly Orchard's podcast for successful badassery. Just as apples are a core ingredient to a healthy diet, Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day is a core ingredient to living a fruitfully badass life. Turn up your energy with Fruitful Friday. Here's Kelly Orchard. That's right. We're turning up our energy on this Fruitful Friday. Thank you very much, Mr. Ocean. That's right. You know, just as an apple is an essential ingredient for a healthy diet and a healthy body, Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day is an essential ingredient to living a fruitfully badass life. Because I say, hey, if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, then Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day will keep the crazy away. That's right. So today is Fruitful Friday and I've got some apples of wisdom for you. You know, the month of July is kind of a monumentally uh, significant month for me. And uh, this particular year of July, it is the actual 15th anniversary since I was struck down with heart failure and my entire life and career was derailed. Uh, The reason why I share and celebrate 15 years since that downward spiral started, once again, I'm telling you, I'm living proof that you too can recover from any kind of life derailment as long as you've got a success mindset. And I'm here to help you just kind of pick that apart by pulling out the things that aren't working for you now, helping you to create a healthy new mindset. So successful badassery requires you to live some of these tools, you know, remember the B in badass stands for be yourself. The A in badass stands for attitude is everything. The D in badass is for decide that you're going to grow and succeed, which is a critical decision. And then the second A stands for awareness. And then the S in badass stands for steadfastly stay the course. And we covered that the entire month of June. And this month of July, we're covering the second S in badass, which is so, so simple. It just means successfully badass or successful badassery. People are liking the word badassery. I don't know really where I got it. I'm wondering if I made a new word. I have no idea, but uh, that's fun. I do have some fresh Mustang Mondays for you for the post-pandemic interviews. And, you know, we're taking charge of our mental health. And so the month of July, because this is the month that I suffered from heart failure, I do this every year. I give away my book, Heart Lessons, absolutely free. The link is in the show notes. To get the heart lessons, you just a PDF download, ebook, however you want to describe it. Um, lots of people are signing up to get it, so thank you very much. Um, when you get it, yes, of course you're going to be on my email list, which is going to make it much much easier for you to know what I've got going on because I do have my license to be badass digital program, which is something that you can do and have access to it privately from your own home. Uh, it's a it's a little bit of therapeutic tools and worksheets and some other lectures. Because in order to have a success mindset, you've got to have the tools in your toolbox. And I know that right now, therapists and counselors are in short supply and you need a badass plan right now. So I'm certifying badasses one podcast at a time on this Fruitful Friday. And, you know, remember that the second day in badass stands for awareness. We just kind of covered that. And that includes being aware of your own heart, what it desires. What does your heart desire? You've got to listen to it. And so here I'm going to share an excerpt from my book, Heart Lessons, and this is from the chapter Lessons in Listening. All right. So what does it mean to listen, to make a conscious effort to hear, to give heed, take advice, pay attention? Other words for listening also include hear, hearken, attention, The heart is the engine that runs the ship. So it's critical to take good care of it. If you have a car or a boat, would you neglect the engine? I think not. So when you understand that your physical heart and your emotional heart basically have the same job, it's really time for you to listen to both. So how is your heart doing? Physically, if one chamber is blocked or not operating properly, it affects the entire system. That's what happened with me. I had an electrical malfunction. Somewhere in the top chambers of my heart, something went haywire. Neither my cardiologist nor my electrophysiologist were able to ever pinpoint the cause. All they could do was treat the condition. 
I was ignoring symptoms and wasn't listening to what my body was telling me. It's probable that I wasn't listening to my emotional heart either and just kept pressing on in my life as if following my heart wasn't as important as my obligations. My heart crisis had two meanings and multiple lessons. I likened being laid out as a wake-up call. It doesn't happen overnight though. Making a significant change takes time. Listen to your body. What physical sensations do you feel? It's time for you to become mindful of your surroundings. Notice how you breathe when you're feeling stress, anxiety, anger, happiness, excitement, joy. Now, I can read this to you now and share it with you, but you, the, the, the actual work is going to be done by you. Now that I've planted a seed to listen to your body and how you breathe when you're feeling stressed out, pay attention. When you're feeling anxious, what's going on with you? So kind of stop and be mindfully aware when you're feeling those ways. Stop for a minute and be mindful of the surroundings. What's going on? How are you breathing? And how are you feeling right now? Listen to how your body responds to what you put in it. Different foods, coffee, alcohol, cigarettes, drugs. How does your body feel? I know that as I've aged, different foods affect me differently now. I have this really weird thing where I can drink coffee just fine. It doesn't really have a caffeinated effect on me. I don't get hyper, but I only drink it in the morning. I don't drink it in the afternoons. But what I have noticed is that if I put a non-dairy creamer, the the liquid creamer in my coffee versus the non-dairy powdered creamer, my stomach is torn up. It's the weirdest thing, even though they're supposed to both be non-dairy. And, and, and I know that's like a, like a small little thing, but I just wanted to give you a little example to Pay attention to how your body reacts to what you put in it. Also, listen to how your body reacts to exercise or sitting for long periods of time or resting or working. Start being more aware with the listening. You get the picture? Listen to your body and then listen to your heart. How does it beat? I remember my cardiologist asking me when I did my, you know, when my heart jumped into long periods of arrhythmia, which I had a case of, uh, you know, basically I would have 15 minutes, recalling that my case was a garden variety arrhythmia, but it was chronic and persistent. I'd have episodes that would last 15 minutes at any given time, multiple times a day for months on end. I would essentially be in persistent atrial fibrillation for at least three to seven hours per day, every day. It physically physically would wear me out and make me incapable of carrying on a normal life. It made pretty, you know, it made it pretty impossible to go anywhere or do anything too, because I always had anxiety that my heart could just act out at any time. You know, ask any parent with an unpredictable toddler how they go out in public, and they'd probably tell you they'd prefer to stay home too. I'd respond to my cardiologist's inquiry with an answer that I had to learn to listen to my heart. When it started acting out, I described it in two ways, either like having a jackrabbit inside my chest, or I could easily describe this sensation to any woman who's ever had a baby, that it felt like a mother feels during the last week of pregnancy when the baby is at its largest and moving around a lot. It gets very uncomfortable. Sometimes it hurts and makes it hard to breathe. Then just need to release your anxiety and let it happen. That's exactly how it would feel when my heart would start up with arrhythmia. I learned to listen to it, surrender to it, stop whatever I was doing and allow it to pass. I would actually lay down and visualize my heart inside my body and I would comfort it and calm it down with my thoughts and my breathing. This team too became a lesson that I had to learn to listen to my body to listen to my heart, to listen to what was really important at that moment. Here are a few takeaways that I picked up through reading and study. I hope that you'll listen to them. Good things can happen out of bad. Falling down doesn't make you a failure. Staying down does. Slow down. Listen. Take advantage of the solitude. I learned to be mindful, and then I studied cognitive behavioral techniques before, during, and after graduate school. 
When I finally got to the point that I was physically ready to take on a new challenge, I chose to help others achieve balance in mind, body, and spirit. Never be ashamed of the scars life has left you with. A scar means the hurt is over, the wound is closed, you endured the pain, and God has healed you. And honestly, that's pretty badass. That's why life is to be badass. You're a badass. All right, you will eventually have some sort of emotional breakdown or life filled with regret if you neglect to listen to you what your heart truly wants. Divine messages come to you all the time. They come through dreams, through snatches of songs, through line, uh, things that you read which resonate with you, through synchronistic conversations, and most of all, in the quiet recesses of your heart. You may not have encounters with burning bushes, but that doesn't mean God isn't talking to you. When you are unsure how to proceed, stop. Be still and enter into the silence. Allow your mind to cease its relentless thinking. Wait. Let the answer come in its time. If you want your world to change, then surrender and be the change you want to be. Listen to your heart. It knows where you want to go. Change your thoughts and you'll change your behavior. But before you can change your thoughts, you have to listen to them. And then, in order to move on to the next chapter, you need to practice a little bit of discipline. So, how about you detect what is it that you're having difficulty hearing right now? What and who do you need to pay attention and listen to? Now, define. How can you practice listening skills? Well, that's pretty easy. Here's, what, here's how I can share that information with you on how you can practice listening skills. Most people, when we're in a conversation with somebody who's maybe asking for help or they're telling about a story, we're either thinking about how we're going to respond or react or what kind of advice we want to give them. Stop that. For right now, to practice listening skills, listen to them just to hear them, not to respond to them. Just listen. That's all. You have two ears. Listen with both of them. You have one mouth. Keep it shut. All right. Okay. Make a plan to listen to your body, your heart, and your spirit as well. All right. Now that is an excerpt from Heart Lessons. So if you want to read the whole thing, definitely it's free this month, this entire month of July. Just go onto the uh, the show notes right here on this podcast and I've provided the link for you. You can just grab it right away. I also found this on the internet and I don't know who wrote it, but it's very poignant. And it's a, basically it's a dialogue question. How do I find happiness? Lost person. Excuse me, could you tell me where I can find happiness? The wise man replies, sure, happiness is at the end of the road called acceptance. Lost person, how do I get to that road? The wise man replies, you're on comparison drive right now. Go another mile and turn left onto ex acceptance road. And the lost person asks, well, how far down acceptance road is happiness? The wise man responds, that depends on how long you look back over your shoulder at Comparison Drive. Poignant, isn't it? Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Remember that. So now some topical apples and some weekend vibes. And I actually have some song lyrics for you today. It's all about love. Love is definitely something that's going to keep you positive and help you with a successful mindset. So as you take charge of your mental health, Oscar Wilde wrote, keep love in your heart. A life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. What do you love? Say yes to it today. Is there a person you want to say yes to? How about saying yes to saying I love you to your spouse, significant others, kids, or other family members? Make a mental list of all the things you love. <laughs> My list would look like this. Coffee, dancing, writing, learning, my family, my work. When you say yes to love, you open up yourself to blessings that you didn't know would come your way. Relationships, friendships, work opportunities, personal growth, the list goes on. Your imagination is stronger than anything you have. Imagine what kind of love you can say yes to this weekend.
All right, so for some weekend vibes, I wanted to give you some music, all right? It's time to rediscover your badass self and decide what you want next. All right, so here's what, what this is one of my favorite songs from early summer. It's written by Todd Rundgren and it's performed by England Dan and John Ford Coley. So I'm just going to read the lyrics to you because it's, I was listening to it the other night and, you know, it was just kind of like one of those nice summer night kind of just sitting under the stars and this song comes on and and I knew that I had to just share these lyrics in my podcast because love is the answer so name your price a ticket to paradise I can't stay here anymore and I've looked high and low I've been sh from shore to shore to shore if there's a shortcut I'd have found it but there's no easy way around it light of the world shine on me love is the answer Shine on us all and set us free. Love is the answer. Who knows why someday we all must die. We're all homeless boys and girls, and we never heard. It's such a lonely, lonely, lonely world. People turn their heads and walk on by. Tell me, is it worth just another try? Light of the world, shine on me. Love is the answer. Shine on us all, set us free. Love is the answer. Tell me. Are we alive or just a dying planet? What are the chances? Ask the man in your heart for the answers. And when you feel afraid, love one another. When you've lost your way, love one another. And when you're all alone, love one another. And when you're far from home, love one another. And when you're down and out, love one another. And when your hopes run out, love one another. And when you need a friend, love one another. And when you're near the end, love. We got to love. We got to love one another. Love is the answer. You know, I often say that, you know, sometimes people look at the love thing and they think it's all mushy or they only look at it as considering it as romantic love. But, you know, I share with you that when we're talking about the emotions scale, there is only two real emotions, love and fear. And fear is the negative, whereas love is the positive. So by focusing on love, positive emotions, even if it's just you're loving your roses in your backyard, or you're loving your cup of coffee, or you're loving your spouse, or your kids, or your work, or your whatever your ex extracurricular activities are, keep love in your heart because love is the answer. And that is how you are going to flip the format on all your negativity. Because you are, <laughs> remember brain science, you are rewiring your brain for positivity and happiness. It can be done. And you can take charge of your mental health. Now the License to Be Badass program is an independent access, home access, self-paced, no obligation or pressure, not therapy, but th very therapeutic. And your mental health should be a top priority for you today after the year we've had are you kidding me are you ready okay well I've got the toolbox for you and I'd love to share all about it with you but you can find it on my website all right but right now just remember that badass is an acronym and the license to be badass program provides you with videos and worksheets that take you through each course first steps first this is the month of July and I've got my book heart lessons absolutely free for you to get started so if you've just discovered the podcast for successful badassery or you've just discovered me Kelly Orchard the badass certifier did you know that I'm also a licensed psychotherapist and I have 40 years in business leadership ownership entrepreneurship in the broadcast of in the broadcasting industry so I do I do kind of have some life experiences, uh, professional experiences, and the academic um, experiences to really help provide you with some tools to help you navigate the upheaval all of our lives have had over the past you know year and a half, and now we're we're sort of ready to you know regroup and figure out what we want to do. And it may not be all about a job for you. It may not be about a career or a business. Maybe what you need to do is just get your badass attitude back in store so that you can figure it out. I'd love to help you. Let's start with the uh, Heart Lessons book, all right? And you just stick around on this uh, this podcast with me and we'll get there, okay? But know that being your badass self doesn't just happen overnight. It does take perpetual pruning and work. And throughout my program, you'll learn that small, 
Persistent steps will allow you to achieve your goals securely rather than attempt to fast track results that never last for long. Upon completion of the entire License to be Badass program, I also give you a custom diploma that you can display as a constant reminder that you are licensed to be badass because positive affirmations really do work. Now, as I close out today, I want to share with you a little bit about Mustang Monday. You know, the thing about the the Mustang, it is a 2006 Mustang, so it too is 15 years old. I told you this is the 15th anniversary of my heart issue. I bought the car in March of 2006. It had to be red. There's, I, I have a story I'm actually writing about uh, about the, the significance of red cars in my life, but this was the time where after I had realized about the significance of red cars in my life, I knew that my next vehicle had, that I purchased had to be red. So what happened? Why did I buy this red Mustang? Well, I can tell you, it was not a uh, life midlife crisis car. It was my daughter wrecked my, my truck. And I had to buy a new car. And at that point, I still had another teenager that was going to become an up and coming. I didn't want him to wreck my car. So I got a vehicle that I wouldn't let my kids drive. <laughs> Seriously, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a GT and it's a five speed. So I wasn't going to let anybody drive it. But that is why I got it. Okay. It was, it had, it was to replace a former vehicle. I bought it in March of 2006. And in July of 2006, I suffered from heart failure. So the Mustang sat in the garage for months because I couldn't drive it. It's my heart car, though. It is red, so it's the color of a heart. And it was my trusty steed to take me to every single doctor's appointment as I did my, you worked on recovering. And then, of course, it was my trusty steed through grad school. And now I use it in my badassery podcast for Mustang Monday. So it's amazing the journey that I have had with this car, but that's why it is so special to me. And I just wanted to share with you that a fresh episode of Mustang Monday is coming up, uh, well, on, on Monday. But thank you for joining me on this fruitful Friday. I'm Kelly Orchard, the Badass Certifier. Don't forget to get your free copy of Heart Lessons all this month and share it with your friends. All right, I'm looking for some some badasses to hop on the bus to Badassville. We need some more of you. When the bus arrives at Badassville, you discover it's not a place. It's a state of being. Hop on the bus to Badassville. Snag your Badass Habits ebook. Get started on your badass journey. Go to licensedtobebadass.com.